let's get to the chopper now. This is Arnold and Nan Cruz of Midwest Big One and Crazy. And Susie Q are the best. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Like Arnold did. Let's go, Brandon. 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 Myself, Sealand, Cruiser Midwest, and Sassy Sabit, any liberal hands down. Mitch McConnell says, All patriots and proud boys, please like, share, subscribe to Land Cruiser Midwest. Nancy and myself thank Land Cruiser Midwest and Susie Q are the best thing since flavored jelly beans. Please like, share, subscribe to Land Cruiser Midwest. Thanks from Ronnie. Thanks, Ronnie. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the endorsement. There you go, folks. A plethora of celebrities who love Land Cruiser Midwest and are saying, let's go Brandon for us. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I am DJ Wonder Chrissy. This is Migrant Mayhem. Um, this is Land Cruiser Midwest, too. We're here to bring you guys um, awesome content on a daily basis with our morning episodes of Migrant Mayhem. Um, today I want to talk about being prepared. Did you see how quickly Haiti fell? Yeah. Um, and don't don't think that um, this is going to cost the United States more money. It is. It is. Um, we were just over in uh, the Middle East dropping MREs for people and water. Um I just heard last night that um, one of our state, Florida state um, uh, representatives ran a uh, uh, extraction um, uh, uh, case, or uh, he, he rented a helicopter and um, got some people out of a uh, 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 orphanage in, in Haiti so um, you know the US Embassy is going into lockdown we got Marines there I wouldn't be surprised um, if we um, pull out of Haiti there's like 11 and a half million people um, gasoline was hard enough to get when there was like a president right he resigned yesterday did you hear that anthony blinken went down to uh, jamaica yeah man yeah man anthony blinken went to went to the, the jamaica and um they're they're gonna build some type of council or something to take over um what i'm hearing is there's three major gangs in um in uh, Haiti right now and they've banded together they've let people out of jails they've taken over um, just about everything they've taken over the government and um, it's uh, they're in control they're in control so it's see how quick it can happen folks so you need to be prepared okay you need to have some security you need to have some food um, you need to have some water. Um, it's um, it can happen pretty quick, and uh, before you know it, it's over. And if you're not ready to deal with um, what's going on, it's um, I don't know. You're you're uh, you're at the mercy of. Uh, whatever is going on there and uh, it's not good in in uh, haiti let's uh we're going to take a quick look here let me uh, set this up for you guys give you an eye of what it looks like and i'm sure it's just gonna keep devolving into uh something that doesn't resemble anything it's just chaos at this point so let's uh look in after over a week of some of the worst violence the country has seen, the Prime Minister of Haiti overnight... Worst violence that Haiti has seen. 
Hmm. Things things got pretty bad in Haiti like in the last 10, 15 years. Can you imagine it getting worse? Something to think about. Something to think about. Um This is this is utterly crazy. Announcing his plans for resignation, releasing this video statement urging calm for the people of Haiti, saying he and his team will resign after the transitional consul is created. The resignation coming the same day leaders of the Caribbean nations held an emergency meeting over the crisis in Jamaica. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken flew down to meet with the leaders, saying earlier Monday that Haitians cannot wait any longer for a path to security, stability, and democracy. What we've seen in recent days again should remind us that the already challenging and difficult security situation it's now deteriorated even further yeah that comes from anthony blinken um i don't know i don't know if i'll be able to find any videos but did you listen to christopher ray the fbi director yesterday um in washington in, in front of congress telling him that um isis is in, uh, infiltrated the united states and um the the threat level in the United States have just gone to a whole nother level. I mean, this is just after like two months ago, he was sounding the alarm. Really, he was sounding the alarm. And, uh, and now it's getting worse. Consider that, folks. Consider that. So if you're, you don't have a stash of food and water and security in your house and um, have a plan, for what you're gonna do when things happen, um, you need some firewood. You need so you need a generator. Um, there's a lot of things people should have, and I hope people have been preparing the last year, three years. Um, so when when it hits the fan, and it, it is it's just not when it's or it's not if it's when it's gonna hit the fan, folks. I'm here to tell you that. Um, you know, I'm I've been preparing for three years now, so um I thought I was pretty prepared. And um, when we get a bad storm or the power goes out here, we kind of we do a, a dry run. We get the generator out. We use our generator. We found out we didn't have as many um, uh, power cables that we needed. We found out, hey, we don't have enough gas. We need to get some more backup of gas um, I usually try to keep gasoline in my car so um, if I need to siphon it out I can do that um, a lot of planning and goes into uh, being prepared I'm, I'm just here to tell you that so let's listen more about what's going on in Haiti as it turns into chaos instability has worsened in Haiti since the 2021 assassination of then there you go they assassinated their president I mean come on this is a third world country this is where this is where the United States is headed folks pretty quickly <laughs> if we don't <laughs> Get a handle on things here. Prime Minister Jovenel Moise and Ariel Henry then came into power. Best-selling author Mitch Albom runs an orphanage in Haiti and spoke to Today in 2021 when 17 members of a missionary group were abducted by members of a Haitian gang. There's not a lot of hope because you're right, the government has collapsed. The police. There you go. When there's no hope, things collapse, folks. Consider that. No hope. Uh, you can't trust uh, one of the most notorious gang leaders is a former police officer. But last week, gangs that usually fight each other banded together, attacking the presidential palace, the airports, even the prisons, releasing thousands of prisoners. Where do you think those prisoners are going to go? Some of them may just go to the United States. They pretty much control everything now there. Airport, presidential palace, prisons. Over the weekend, President Biden approved a military operation to airlift some non-essential personnel from the American embassy in Haiti. And we know, um, according to what consulars were saying last night, a traditional consul will select and appoint an interim prime minister. But the United Nations has said just in the last week alone, 15,000 Haitians have been displaced. So Hoda, humanitarian aid workers are saying time is of the essence. Terrified Hoda? situation there. All right, Marissa Parra for us there. Thank you. Okay, so let's um, let's see if we can find. Uh, you know, we don't want two hours. Uh, yeah, you know, let's uh, uh, let's hear if we can find some. Uh, f 
Uh, maybe we won't. Let's see. Wow. Let's see if, quickly if we can find anything here. Um, yeah, but um. Uh, you can find it on the news. Uh, I don't find any short ones here that we could could uh, use for you. See how the how the deep state tries to uh, try to keep all that stuff down. But if you look on uh, the news, you should be able to see where he uh, testified and said that uh, things are the threat level has gone through the roof, and um, he was urging uh, Joe Berg and his buddies to. Uh, um close the border he's uh he says it's just a matter of time just a matter of time and we're gonna have some nasty stuff go on let's let's play a little bit of this maybe let's see if we try a little bit of this let's see if we can find him maybe not blocking a provision that would be very important in this country to get to, to be have enacted uh, uh, as soon as possible uh, director hands you're nodding but the record doesn't show nodding can you <laughs> yes absolutely it's not coming to the intelligence community in that case but there are funding obviously for uh, the capacity to do greater detection and things like that the DHS would be uh, deploying I believe and among others and absolutely agreed that this is a fundamental issue uh, that at some point in the not too distant future, uh, in accordance with Xi's own goals, uh, they will be uh, a world leading military power. Uh, the United States, though, we're talking about China, leading military power today, and so the imperative piece for us is to be on that same trajectory uh, to match them stride for stride. And China just announced they're building another aircraft carrier, folks. No doubt, uh, the growth that you see uh, has been discussed today in military power uh, associated with uh, China and the rise in all domains, uh, cyberspace, as well as conventional. I'm not sure that I, as I sit here right now, I can tell you that we're contacted in every in every instance. Okay, that's helpful. Mr. Strongman, you haven't got a lot of questions today. We need to give you some, some, need to give some attention here. Uh, obviously, the State Department's very engaged in this and trying to be able to figure out for the intelligence side uh, of the information sharing. Those individuals that are crossing the border right now, from many of those countries, we don't have any criminal information on these individuals do you know how just offhand how many countries that are coming into the united states when they're crossing our southern border we have criminal background information let me give you for instance venezuela we were talking about venezuelan gangs earlier and those individuals that are crossing into the country many of them being paroled into the country is venezuela freely sharing their criminal records with us do we know if these individuals have a criminal record Thank you, Senator. Um, I don't know exactly if Venezuela is sharing specific information with us. What I can say, though, about Venezuela, obviously, is that we've seen you know, over 7 million Venezuelans emigrate from the country since 2017, a significant portion of whom obviously have, uh, have uh, emigrated to the United States uh, illegally. Um, but when we do get relevant information from our counterparts at DHS and FBI, our, our analysts use that to help inform their judgment. Uh, that wasn't an answer. That wasn't even close to being a good answer. People back on that, and we're all dependent on the State Department to impose some sort of consequences on Nicaragua to say. Uh, Director Ray, you can start. Uh, well, I, I want to think about what I can say here. I mean, certainly uh, AI is something that uh, uh, all of our uh, most significant adversaries are taking a hard look at to enhance their efforts. Um, uh, we have seen AI used in a variety of settings, whether it's been used specifically to target voters. I'm not sure that I can say that, uh, but we are actively concerned 
um, about that as the latest wrinkle in a long-standing effort to engage in information warfare. Charger Burns. So there you go, folks. See if you can find some more some more video on uh, Robert Ray, W R A Y, and his uh, testimony yesterday in front of Congress. Um, shocking, utterly shocking. Um, he pretty much comes out and says that um, it's just a matter of time. Um, something nasty is going to happen, and. Uh, um, it's going to impact our country. So I'm here to tell you the same. You need to be prepared. You need to have security, food, water, um, things that you need, medicine, band-aids. You need to have everything that you may need for if you had to live for uh, 30 days at least without going to the grocery store. Um, can, that should be your goal right there. First goal should be how can I live for 30 days off grid maybe too once you get all the food stuff and everything throw in some off grid uh parameters there and and start thinking about getting a generator a nice grill for cooking um you name it you name it you need to uh be able to be self-sufficient when uh it hits the fan folks when it hits the fan we are so close to it hitting the fan it's unbelievable um, and, and there's just a lot of people out there that are still in denial, people who have been um, attached to the mainstream media, been believing in what the mainstream media is telling you to, don't worry, don't worry, everything is great. I'm here to tell you everything is not great. And if you're not prepared, you are the one that's in jeopardy. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I've already told my family members, uh, you better be prepared, you better prepare for yourself because when it hits the fan, I'm not going to be answering my door. Not going to be answering my door. I'm not going to be sharing my water. Not going to be sharing my calories. You need to have your own. You need to be prepared on your own. Hate to be mean like that, but that's the way it's got to be. Um, I prepare for my family. My internal close family and that's it the rest of you guys need to be able to prepare for yourself it's not that hard it just takes time effort and a little bit of money um, and if you fail to do that well well then you run the risk of not having what you need when you need it all right so hope uh, hope uh, this gets some people uh, awaken some people moving in the right direction because time is running short folks um, just with this stuff I just got some more of this stuff uh, ordered this week and um, see gold went down gold was shooting up now it came down another 20 bucks yesterday but we'll watching it today see what it does um, that's all I have migrant mayhem DJ Wonder Chrissy for Land Cruiser Midwest like share and subscribe folks it does matter helps us with the algorithm help us get this stuff out to the masses where